416 master mode. The budget is slightly higher, but there are extra rocks and other obstacles. You can only use one hydraulic and even more cars. And compact car must E must return to his cave. Oh sh! <laughs> there is a flatbed with another flatbed and a car on top. And on top of the second flatbed, there is car E. So E must return to its cave. Ew. So anyways, here's how this level goes. The A car moves. All these are on top. The rest of them, they don't move and A stops here. So then there's a hydraulic phase, I guess, to dodge these short boats. That's fine. I'll just build over them. Not a big deal. So then what happens is I guess C and I guess it stops here. So then there's another hydraulic phase. And then it looks like both the E car and the C car goes. So the E car comes off going to the right and the C car goes to the left. C car must go up to the flag here. E car must come down here to the flag. And, oh, I guess A1 also moves at the same time that the C thing moves off. So A1's here. And then there's another hydraulic phase. And then G goes all the way up here. Now, the tricky part about this, if it wasn't tricky looking enough, is that there's one hydraulic for this whole thing. Anyways, we want to build a bridge that goes here, threading the needle between this plane and the boat. That's going to be a weird support. I don't know how the hell I want to do this. Thankfully, there's no nothing flying over here. This looks okay. I could jam a little piece in here, which honestly doesn't seem awful. And I'll have a support that goes all the way down here. So if I want this to go up here, I got to still have catching roads. So it's very important. So just something like this, I suppose. And then maybe even something up here as well. And then this is going to have to be hydraulic up. Interesting. I guess I'll make these all steel. I also have a joint down here that I've still have yet to use. Maybe I will use it. Something like that. Really? The roads still break. You know what? That's fine. It's a heavy weight. Heavy vehicles drive on this bridge. It makes total sense to have to make some of them reinforce that is very high up, huh? I don't know if this helps. It's a little stronger, I suppose. It just flexes. <laughs> Damn, this is super rough. I guess the F plane is not a big deal. Yeah, maybe it's, maybe I could just build above and ignore the F plane. I think that's the move. I have to go above. This still gets stressed. Is it being compressed or stretched? I think it's being stretched, actually. I've been too distracted by this whole ordeal to not even realize that this isn't even close to making it up. Damn, I, I really hate this section of the bridge. It's so unclean. Big, tall, arch. 49% stress, so clearly I'm doing something right. Okay, that needs to be turned off during, um... Oh, crap. One hydraulic has to not only control this drawbridge, but the trap door down here. I don't even know how I want to do this mechanism. I could have the hydraulic be on the right side. As the hydraulic expands, this joint will go to the right. And then I want it to pull this damn thing. It's not going to have the leverage to do it, but I mean, the idea is there. I'll have to figure out something else to make it a lot stronger. Oh, wait, it's actually strong enough to do it, but we've reached other problems. What even happens with this? What? It doesn't br- Oh, well, this- <laughs> The VA vehicle is beached. Wait, damn, this trap door actually look, worked perfectly. Oh, I can still make this longer. Yes! Yes! No! <laughs> Terrible ending. I just realized that because C stops here, I technically don't need to have this go until D. Yeah, I, need, I think I need to take this back. Back to when it was a single road mechanism, because I realized that I could just do freaking hydraulic controller differently. And then let's have this be off during B. Rip. Well, welcome back. All right, that works. That works almost too well, to be honest. Let's just have a road catch like this, I suppose. As long as it hits the flag before it hits the water, I'm happy. Everyone watches a nerd. Well, we are playing Polybridge, the ultimate engineering game. I only expect the smartest individuals to watch. Yes! Oh, that, that ramp is perfect. It's just, this is terrible. Um, I could probably fix this. What's the best engineering subject to go into? If you're looking for advice. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's perfect. Okay, we got the first two vehicles done. Now we just got a big plane in the way. And I haven't engineered anything to dodge the plane. 
we're back to this problem again. I could try to beef this up a little. I think this is a brace I want. All right, no breaks here is lovely. This coming back down isn't what I want. Actually, we get everything except the final car here. F phase, it's not gonna come down. It's gonna stay up. And I guess I'm just gonna make a trap door. Oh, it's just, this is so high above the ground. Let me try something more like this then. Yeah, something dangles more like that. So then I'll do two steel pieces. This will be up like so. Let's run it. A lot of mechanisms at play here. That needs to be steel. That's totally fine now that I made this rope. Biggest worry is, I guess, whether or not this rope will break. But then, of course, we'll still have a trapdoor issue, I'm sure. Well, if it works, it works. Uh, but that works. Oh, the rope does pull, but it's got to support the weight of the truck. Oh, and it does. Okay, so now the car gets stuck. Let's try to fix that, huh? Uh, so if I am to design a level, it is going to be challenging. And I want to do a very specific gimmick. But that's really all I can say about the level design without giving it away. I mean, I know it's extremely vague. And it's done intentionally so. But if I'm designing a level, I want to make sure that it's challenging but still more fun than challenging. That's extremely important. So, bad news, the trap door didn't work. Also, it just occurred to me that if I want the vehicle to go up, this road needs to be here. How am I going to do this? I, I could drop off the road. That's what needs to happen. We do a split joint here. I need to do a road with two springs attached like this. So here's what can happen. Split joint's not going to go now. It's not going to go now, but it is going to go during F. And the road and springs are going to drop down so it falls back in place is the plan. So all that needs to happen is a tiny flick of this rope getting pulled down, pulling this over, hopefully, and then letting this buckle. Hopefully the addition of the springs doesn't ruin anything. It ruined everything. Why? I mean, I added extra weight, but that's the only thing that could have possibly changed. Wait, I have split joints. What am I doing? I don't need to do a trap. I can have this be split joint based. Um, here's something that's worrisome though. Just the angle of this road is sloped at 22 degrees. And if I want this bridge to intersect, this has got to fall to like 47 degrees. So I think this entire thing needs to be a dropping road. And then I have to hope this has, oh, this has insane horsepower. So this should be able to make it up. And now we're a lot better budget wise. Here's, I guess what I technically need. I need one hydraulic to pull down this road or this same hydraulic to somehow pull down this road and pull down this thing. I mean, both things need to happen in order for this to work. So what's gonna happen is that when this is locked in, I could then pull down the road at the very least without disrupting anything. There we go. All right, it clicked. Awesome, so nothing's ruined. So now that detaches and now, now what I need is during F, the hydraulic to pull back down to make this road flat. Thank you. All right, here we go. Excellent, okay. So it does make it up like that. Which is cool, so now we just need to be able to get it to come all the way up. I could do one more attempt at some sort of over thing. Maybe it's not too bad if I do it like this. It's just incredibly expensive, is all. Honestly, I'm just gonna run it like this. If it breaks, it breaks. Alright, so that doesn't fall very far, but you know what? It doesn't break, which I consider it uh, to be a win. It doesn't immediately shatter everything when the bridge drops. Huge win in the marketplace of ideas. Can we have this drop down an appropriate distance like that without breaking anything? Honestly, this looks good. Assuming we can make, the, make it up that, I think we've got it. Then I just need to shave 11,000. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. It's budget shaving time, my favorite part, unironically. We beat Master Mode World 4, which is pretty hype. Be sure to check out our Master Mode campaigns for the other worlds. Maybe I will, but I have a job to finish. We must get this under budget. So, first things first, let's start shaving on this thing. I think these can be... Well, I'm gonna try having these be regular roads, see what happens. And then I'm gonna even start going on to the next shave. I'm just gonna make these regular roads, too. Yeah, we've shaved 45,000 the other day. That even wasn't even my biggest shave though. In Polybridge 1, I had a $110,000 shave one time. 
which was legendary. Yeah, six and a half thousand to go. I could try these. What about down here? Let me try rope instead of cable. All right, looks like rope is good. This cable didn't seem like it was getting bad, but I might've missed something. All right, so if I'm gonna shave anything, it has to be in some of the least impactful parts of the bridge. You know what, screw it. Let's jam wood in here, see what happens. Maybe the woods here don't actually get as stressed as I think they do. Like maybe ah, this one gets a little bad, but honestly it's holding up fine. Wow, okay, got stressed, but it didn't break. Okay, so I was right that it took some stress, but overestimated how much of a load was on the wood. All right, well, one more wood into, or steel into wood and we've got this. I could try this, but this is probably a very important piece of wood. Well, if it isn't, we've got it. Let's go. Oh, look at this. Oh, it doesn't break though. All right, if it didn't break then, and doesn't break now, Oh, ladies and gentlemen, are we finally done with master mode? As long as this doesn't break, the car makes it up and we have an under budget victory. Oh my, that level was really challenging. I thought 415 was going to be the hardest one of master mode, but 415 took me an hour. This one took me an hour and 35. Oh, <laughs> Jesus, what a tough level. Either way, we got it done. That is master mode that it, this actually might be the last level of master mode that youtube people see i'm gonna try world 5 another stream but if i don't like it it's not showing up on youtube so if this is the final level level of master mode you'll understand i think i'm just gonna prematurely call this the end of the series though i do have plenty more i want to do in uh poly bridge a lot more exciting stuff so keep your eyes peeled next up actually is going to be a bit more stress shaving but i'm talking about new stuff that i want to do in the future